A heavy transport on the Elbe, with 100 tons of freight on its way to the port of Hamburg, being transported down the river on an inland waterway vessel. You cruise along slowly with the landscape moving past you left and right without producing much noise. It really is a special form of transport. We join the crew of one of these vessels to get the whole story. Part is what we do, this time not from the port of Hamburg, but on the way to the port of Hamburg. We are on a barge, started in Geesthacht, travel time to the port of Hamburg about three hours. David Schutz of Deutsche Binnenrederei. He began his journey in Berlin and passage through the lock at Geesthacht went without a hitch. The ship is on time. We were able to take over the ship directly from the factory and travel to Hamburg to the Kaikanter and then do the handover. It's a very easy journey and a very good and efficient freight journey. Transporting freight via inland waterways is good value and climate friendly. Emissions are considerably lower and it doesn't put any strain on the road network. It's a niche that doesn't bother any other forms of transport. That's a major advantage. But of course it means that people aren't really aware of what we do. In weather typical of northern Germany, we pass the Zollenspieker Fairhouse. The loading capacity of this type of vessel is impressive. This does away with 22 special loads that would otherwise have to go by road. That's clearly the major advantage of shipping goods on inland waterways, being able to move large volumes without much stress and without getting in the way of other people on the move. The Universal Port of Hamburg is Germany's largest seaport, and annual savings in terms of truck and train journeys underscore its importance as one of Europe's largest ports for inland waterway shipping. The port of Hamburg needs inland waterway shipping. Just in terms of shipping from Hamburg to the hinterland, it saves over 300,000 truck journeys, or 9,000 trains. Imagine what that would mean for the roads or the rail system, and you can see that it would be even busier in a situation where we're close to capacity. The Hamburg Port Authority provides the necessary infrastructure. We need to ensure we have enough berths. That's one big issue. We need sufficient drafts for the ships. The shore power boxes you see here have been upgraded and we have cutting-edge connections. The three-man crew stays on board for three weeks. Becoming the skipper of a vessel like this is a long haul. You have to add up all your trips and work your way up accordingly. It sounds banal, but you actually have to note it all down. All the trips you do on a ship, they have to be documented. And over the years, as you notch up more trips, you can become a bosun, then a pilot, and after several years, a skipper or captain. After a good three hours, we approach the destination of the heavy goods transport. Every year, some 9,000 inland waterway vessels berth on the Elbe in the port of Hamburg. Inland waterway shipping is also developing in terms of powertrains. The first hydrogen engines are in development. Hybrid ships already exist. There are projects to make ships autonomous. There's a lot of potential and I'm excited about it. Port is what we do.